The Michael J. Fox Foundation launched in 2000 with a singular goal to cure Parkinson's disease. We focus on raising vast sums of money to fund the most promising research, but a funny thing happened on the way to cure Parkinson's. The foundation grew into more than a research organization. Our forums, events, even our website became a nexus for a Parkinson's community to form, one that offered support, advice, and mentorship. PD patients discovered the best way to connect to other patients was often through us. While we moved closer to a cure, we were proud of the people who've joined us, the connections we've made, whether across town or across the country. When I first got diagnosed, I was in search for another person with young onset Parkinson's disease. The Fox Foundation helped me, and through them, I reached out to Sonia. It was great hearing from Karen, and the Fox Foundation asked her to call me to find someone that was sort of my age, my profession, and uh, in the same stage of life. I met Sonia first in, uh, at a Fox Foundation roundtable, and then the Fox Foundation also hooked me up with Sharon as my mentor. We're just always there for each other. It's such a good feeling to know that I have these girls on, on my side. I w went onto the Michael J. Fox um, Foundation website, and two weeks later, I got a phone call from Sharon. I think when you meet someone who's gone through the same life experience as you have, there's an instant bond that's created, and I think that bond is just is so strong. And we all understand what each other's yeah. going through, and right. so you don't have to explain it to anybody. Yeah. There's a comfort in that. I know if I have an issue with a Parkinson's symptoms, I can go to these friends to help me battle through it. I can call one of them or go online and all of us will talk, especially through hard times. I was so happy to have a support group and especially people who are young and smart and dedicated to finding a cure as I was. We've laughed together, we've cried together, we've joked about things that probably aren't funny to most people. Yeah. <laughs> we just totally, I think, enrich each other's lives. Really I couldn't imagine do. getting through this without them. People who are newly diagnosed often approach us at the Michael J. Fox Foundation for advice on their symptoms or where they should go next. In Parkinson's, it's really important to build connections because this helps you build your support system and take control of your disease. Like a lot of people that, that get the diagnosis, uh, the first thing you want to do is just run and hide. Curl up in a ball and, and don't come out of your room. Dee Dee and I weren't expecting that at all. It was uh, a real uh, unknown for us, and it was just overwhelming. I remember hugging each other in the parking lot, you know, shed a few tears, and then I went back to work because it was the only thing I knew what to do. Shortly after I was diagnosed, we met Claudia. Lo and behold, we lived about a half mile away from each other, had no idea who each other were or the fact that you know, we were both about the same age and both had PD. And we went out for coffee. I talk a lot about the foundation. I told them what I do, and I told them all the things that, that are out there. Go to the website. You're going to find everything. If you need anything, just give me a call. I'm there. Claudia and I really clicked well together. She's had Parkinson's a little longer than I have, so she became a mentor to me. She encouraged us to go to a Fox Foundation event that was held in November of 2014. I met two people that day uh, that really changed my life. I met Ned Newhouse through the Michael J. Fox Foundation. Ned really was inspired by the therapeutic benefits of boxing to combat Parkinson's disease. He wanted to start his own program in Peoria. Since then, he's built this program up Meeting Eric that day was one of those points in life I can look back to and say that was a day where my life changed. Funny thing was, that wasn't the only thing that changed on that day. I didn't actually meet Jimmy and, and Cheryl that day, but I saw them speak. I met Ned in 2016 at a research seminar with the Michael J. Fox Foundation. Ned came up to me and he told me a story about how he had heard myself and uh, my wife speak and how it helped him along in his journey. And then a year later, he signed up to participate in the Shake It Off 5K, which is our fundraiser for the Michael J. Fox Foundation. I've been a runner my whole life. I learned that exercise was one thing that could potentially slow the progression in Parkinson's. So I started researching organizations and that brought me to Team Fox. These connections that I've made with the Fox Foundation have 
uh, brought a lot of adventures into my life. Bill and I have run in so many marathons together. In fact, we've eaten pizza on the course. We've crossed the finish line with turkey legs. We actually stopped and jumped on a roller coaster in the middle of a race one time. <laughs> I went out to inspire people, and I ended up finding people who inspire me on a daily basis, and that is the most amazing thing. And that continues to build today as these kind of webs of connectivity kind of continue to propagate out. You know, I often say I'll never be happy I have the disease, but it's okay that I do. And I am a much better person through the relationships I've built through the Fox Foundation. Studies show that people who have more social connections live happier and more fulfilled lives. In Parkinson's, building more connections is crucial for building a support system that can help you manage symptoms of Parkinson's, and in general, just have people around you who will help you with your path in Parkinson's. It's not just patients who benefit from our community. Families and outside supporters, some with no link to Parkinson's at all, have recruited others to join our efforts, further expanding our network. We're here at Leadville, Colorado. There's a race called the Leadville Trail 100. We're here to run that race. It's a challenge. It's 100 miles. You go from Leadville, you run through the mountains and the woods all the way to Winfield, which is halfway to Aspen. It's a 50-mile out and back course. Peaks out at 12,800 feet. When Amar says he's interested in something, be it running 100 miles or, uh, or a foundation that's really doing an incredible job, uh, it, it's gonna be amazing. I was a runner in college, and then I just quit running. I gained 40 pounds, and I was talking to a friend of mine, and she said, well, you know what? I can get you a bib to run the New York City Marathon for Team Fox. So I started running with them, and the more I found out about Team Fox and the more I found out about the foundation, the more excited I got. You know, the fact that you get to meet these amazing people who are willing to fight the good fight to find a cure, to me, I think that, that really galvanizes this community grassroots spirit. Team Fox is just full of inspiration. I have no special connection to Parkinson's, and here I am. I mean, it's become a real passionate cause for me, and I think you find that the connections to Parkinson's are never further away than, than one or two degrees. It's, it's an avenue for bringing new people into the organization, and so, you know, I have seven really great friends. I mean, they, they must be a little crazy because I said I'm gonna run a 100-mile race, and they all said that they're gonna show up, and that attraction of the cause is part of what brings it in. Oh my God. What's blowing my mind right now is just his attitude, how happy he is, how positive he is. And I think that's just something that only happens when you're running for, for a cause. Get the socks off, get new socks on. Oh my God. Around the time my father-in-law was diagnosed with Parkinson's, we became aware that Amar was very involved with the Michael J. Fox Foundation. So my wife and I uh, got involved. So uh, this is just a continuation of that. I thought I was never coming back. <laughs> I thought like, oh God. When Amar told me that he was running for the Michael J. Fox Foundation, there wasn't a, a shadow of a doubt in my mind that I would be here. Amar Kuchina from New York, New York. Post-race, the first thing I'm feeling is sore and tired. Uh, that was definitely the hardest thing I've ever done. Over the past 27 hours, he thought about, you know, maybe giving up during the race, but then he's like, wait a second, I'm doing this for a bigger, bigger purpose, and, and he really, it helped him power through it. Let's take a picture. Wouldn't have happened without these guys. They are some of my closest friends, and some of them are even brand new friends, and I can't even begin to express my gratitude to all of them for showing up and being there to support such a great organization, a great race, and, and to support me. My friends from Team Fox, like Bill Bucklew, Jimmy Choi, they make me do epic shit because they do epic shit. But even if you're not the crazy, I'm gonna jump out of an airplane to raise money, or I'm gonna ride 100 miles, or do seven marathons in seven days, or walk across the United States, I think the people are the ones who make that foundation special. They lead by example, and, uh, and I wanted to be part of that, part of that crew. If you ever find yourself stuck in the middle of the sea, I'll sail the world to find you. If you ever find yourself lost in the dark and you can't see, 
I'll be the light to guide you. Find out what we're made of when we are called to help our friends in need. You can't count on.